welcome everybody to the show. Come on in, settle in, how's it going? I am back in Slab City. Wow, that's pretty pretty cool. So many people come to my channel and watch two minutes of one video and they'll be like, Oh, I saw you in that one documentary about Slab City. When are you going back to Slabs? Bitch, I live here. <laughs> I come back. Yeah, yeah, get excited. This is, is it's groundbreaking material, actually. It's, it's, it's crazy. Look at, look at this. It really does exist. Slab City is a real, actual place. Ah, just kidding, it's a green screen. Yeah, so Asian Mountains over there. You can see the cross in the back, at, back side of it. There's the information kiosk and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not just, uh, it's not just a fable. <laughs> just kidding, this is a very high budget production. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was working on, um, kind of fixing up my bus, tidying it up, and I sent some of my stuff out to folks here online. I'm not really doing that right now. I'm just like, I'm doing it physically. I'm sitting out on Beal, which is the main strip when you're coming into slabs. Um, and let me, let me show you. So this is, this is like main street basically, um, where that car is. And then, you know, cause Salvation Mountain's right there. This is the road that leads into slabs. Hi, baby. Hi, Dongus. You're so cute. You're just chilling. Yeah, my place is a bit of a wreck because I've just been pulling stuff out. Um, then I got this stuff out right now, and I'm trying to... I've already sold quite a bit of stuff, made like a couple hundred dollars today already, so that's pretty cool. Then there's all this stuff left. Hi, baby. Got my for sale sign. Yes, I'm selling the bus too. I'm selling everything out of it except what I can carry out of here on my back. Hi. And... Um, and then a couple of toolboxes that belong in my Subaru as well. I got a, uh, a customer. Woo. Cool. For sale? Yeah, everything's for sale. I'm, uh... Oh, I thought the bus was for it sale. It is, yeah. I'm live streaming right now, just for your information. Sure. Oh, I can talk to you as long as you don't mind. No, yeah, I don't want to interrupt you. No, you're good. I'm um, actually in the beginning of the live stream, so I'm giving people kind of the rundown, so it's perfect that you show cool. up. okay. Yeah, everything must go. Um, yeah, I got all my stuff in it. It's a bit of a wreck. And don't step on the bottom stair, please. That's, uh, it's, it's got a little bit of body work that needs doing like that. Right, right. Um, but I've got this. Cool. It's great. It's an yeah. antique finish made, uh, -huh. uh, wood stove. I bought it and I built this space out in Minnesota. So it was negative 18 degrees. That's so. pretty, yeah, you need a big one. Need yeah. a big one. I'm probably, <laughs> if I were going to build this out, I would pull that out and put a smaller one yeah, in, though. Totally. Yeah, Yeah, for this climate, yeah. yeah. For this climate, or for sure. For most climates, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I built the bed frame there, too. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a good bus. I like it. It runs great. It runs like a freaking monster. What, uh, what year is it? It's a 2001. Okay. Yeah. 2001 Bluebird. Diesel. It's got a cat engine. Yeah, diesel. diesel. Um, 2136. Um, it's got an Allison automatic transmission. Uh huh. Uh, what's uh, what's mileage? About two hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah, it's got a lot of life left in it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, the diesels for sure. It really does. Cool. Um, you gonna be here for a while? I'm gonna be here until everything's gone. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Or uh, until the end of the weekend, and then probably I'll. Okay. Yeah. You know, if I'm if I still haven't sold the bus yet, then I'll park it somewhere after the yeah. weekend and What are show. you asking? Just out of curiosity. Uh, ballpark 10k. I could be talked down depending on uh you know the right buyer and what they're uh, looking for and what they right. want me to keep in it and whatever. Right. Right. Depends. Okay. okay cool. Well, I'll let you do your thing, yeah. No worries, yeah. Hey, if there's anything else that you're interested in, yeah, please uh, okay. don't, yeah, don't hesitate. Cool, all right. Everything's priced to sell. I just want it to go. Right, right. I'm, uh, all I want is my pack, my dog, and my Subaru that's up in uh, Joshua Tree right now. Oh, nice. You yeah. need some electrical tape? You can just take that. 
Uh, yeah, go for it, man. Unless some other people have some, yeah. <laughs> that always comes in handy. I can never find it whenever I want it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I always got the wrong kind of tape. Like yeah. Some other, yeah. And then at Harbor Freight, they weren't selling single rolls. They just had a roll of like 10. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is C4. Seven windows. Seven windows. Yeah, it's a 25 footer. So I it's a seen those. Okay. it's a sought after size. It's hard to find. Seven windows. Okay. Yeah, that's why I feel more comfortable uh -huh. asking for 10k with the body damage and all. Because uh -huh. it's. So the, is it? Where's the damage mainly in the that it's area? It's just the uh, which a lot of people are gonna refabricate the door anyway. The door needs mm -hmm. uh, at the mm -hmm. bottom there. You see that bracing? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Coming out here. Yeah. Um, the staircase is just rusted out a little bit and I, right. I ran it over like some low ground at one point when uh -huh. I was drunk <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, took off yeah a little bit of that sure yeah it just yeah. needs a little welding um, I brought my welder and my whole kit too in case I ended up uh, being commissioned to refabricate it for somebody but at this uh -huh. point I'm just withdrawing I don't need to put more work into it I'm not trying to live it's in a bus than the typical ones? I guess it's about the same. It's yeah, it's the same. It's like yeah. the same dimensions as a full length bus yeah. like that one. Yeah. But just mm -hmm. shorter, but yeah. not a short bus. It's it's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's a great size. It runs yeah. like a beast. Mm -hmm. cool. Tops out at like 70 miles an hour. Could go faster if the cap was off of it. No, no, you don't want that. The brakes are good. I redid yeah. the brakes a couple years ago. Yeah. Um that tire needs replacing. And the steering shaft is loose, needs replacing. But that's like a $200 part. Cool. All right, yeah, I'm just starting to think about what type of uh, size I'm looking for. So Hell yeah. Yeah, it's good to always check out what's, what's around. So, But I'll, I'll, I'll be passing by, so I'll see you again. I'll be around. Okay. I'm Cornelius. Uh, Sebastian. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there. There, you got all the information you needed. And that's... <laughs> yep. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong with it except for some body damage and of course the steering shaft and whatnot. And yeah, 10k is what I've been asking since the beginning. I was kind of like, you know, if a friend was like, "Hey, Corn, you know, we've been friends for a long time and I I really want to, you know, put some love into the boss and whatever, I could definitely be talked down um off of that." Hey, Noah Heezer just fucking kicked down some money. Thank you so much. I am in hustle mode right now. I want, I want just, like I said to that person, I just want me, my dog, my pack, and my Subaru right now, and my tools that fit in my Subaru. I don't want much. I just want, you know, a little rig, and I'm probably going to be looking for some serious work this year and doing a few months of some, like, actual like kick it down somewhere and bust ass and put a few grand in the bank in addition to this and then you know maybe in a few months i'll be able to do some world travel fly out to thailand to get my tits snipped or whatever um or you know fucking just actually have a savings for the first time in my life which would be really great uh you know because i'm just i'm i'm i don't i have explored almost every corner of this continent and like there's four states that i haven't been to hawaii is one of them and the other three are like the tiny ones on the east coast like rhode island and no i've been to rhode island like uh like connecticut and like i've been i've been through canada i've been through mexico i would do south america but i'm just i'm kind of bored of north america i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna get out of north america hauling a bus like this unless i drive it to south you know south america which i have thought of but I could just as easily backpack and ride trains in South America, which would be fucking awesome. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Days says I have a Subaru. It's a gay thing. Haha. <laughs> yeah, Subies are gay as fuck. <laughs> gay recognized gay, bud. 10K is very reasonable. Thanks, in Texas. I appreciate that. Yeah, it is reasonable. And, like, you know, like, if somebody like like me... Like a fucking street punk was like, yo, I'm, I just busted my ass at this job for a couple of months and I got money saved for a cool rig that I want to like put work into. I could, I would definitely give them homie prices for sure. For sure, for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm not leaving Slab City with any of this shit except for my backpack and a couple of toolboxes for my Subi. Um, 
and my tattoo stuff. I'll, I'll be doing tattoos out here too. If you want, um, I'll do like hobo code stuff, like, like this type of thing. Um, you know, uh, I got other hobo code, whatever, you know, for like 40 bucks for a little hobo code banger or whatever. Skeeter sent me a Venmo yesterday randomly. Oh, thanks Skeeter. I think I saw that one. I don't know if I sent you a thank you note yet, but I will. Hell yeah. Hobo code. Yeah, I like this shit. If you don't know what hobo code is, go look it up. I'm not going to explain it to you. This is this is elementary shit. The bus is dope. Thanks, Eden. Yeah, the bus is fucking dope. Um, it's It runs great. I would drive it around slabs and give you like a slab tour right now, but I got all my shit sitting outside of my bus trying to sell it to folks. Somebody is rolling up. Hopefully they'll stop and take a look at my shit. Looks like they're thinking, ah, uh, they're looking. They're looking. Howdy. Uh, just a roll by glance. That's fine, better than nothing. Maybe they're, uh, they're just scoping it out. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you guys are great. You guys are fucking, just being so sweet to each other in chat. I love seeing that. Good job, everybody. Love it. I'm glad you're here. Sacred Smoke says, glad you're in better spirits. You deserve a break. I have had very little break. I had like two days where I really did just chill out and then the sun came out and then I was hiking all over. That was super nice. Um, and kind of just like my shitty depression fog lifted and that's good. And I just did my tee shot today. So that, that always, you know, makes me feel kind of nice to get that done. And, um... Yeah, got a lot of exercise, and I've, I haven't gotten my appetite up much lately, um, just nothing really sounds that good, but I mean, I'm getting a lot of good nutrition, I'm not like starving myself or anything, it's just, I haven't been eating like I usually do, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> Glad you're here, we're all rooting for you. Thanks, Elena. Hell yeah, we're, uh, we're doing Operation Bootstraps right now. Operation, uh... Let's pull corn up by their bootstraps and shoot them off into space like a fucking monkey. Well, like a fucking space monkey. Just shoot me out into the world and let me be a fucking roving mass of chaos and have less constraints upon me so I can just, just zoom about uh, this world, this realm, freely causing uh, mischief wherever, uh, wherever I may roam. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can buy Slab City Library t-shirts. I am about to bequeath the rights to the Slab City t-shirts to Aurora. We've been talking about it, but the ones on my thing um, are still, they're still good. You can buy them. They're awesome. There's other t-shirts. There's stickers. There's links in the description. I linked my entire merch page in the description now so you can like actually look through what I have instead of like finding a single link. I'm really not great at... <laughs> at social media and YouTubing like I do. I try, but I'm not like, I'm not, I don't have a team of people to fucking like configure shit for me. I'm just kind of just doing my best here. Um, I do have some really great mods though that help keep shit, um, keep shit afloat. So that's great. Uh, I'm going to do a dab because dabs are good and delicious. Um, and yeah, come buy my shit. Come buy my life, buy my whole life. Fuck you. Pay me. Throw some dollarinos in the PayPal. Lots of folks have. Um, actually, last live stream was like I was floored. I don't. I don't remember the last time, if ever, I had. I feel like maybe there was a couple of times where like people really shocked me when I needed it the most, and like dropped, um, dropped some donations, and I was just like, holy fuck. Um, last live stream was one of those live streams. So that set me up pretty good to get my ass down here and get uh, get some things in order. And, like, I'm, I'm still sitting on those donos and I'm really glad for it because I'm not worried about where I'm going to, where I'm going to come up with the money to cover expenses that, um, you know, that happen. And also fix up my Subaru when I get back up because there's, there's some work that the Subaru needs as well. So that's like... If I can keep the Subaru nice and, and maintained, then that thing will last me for years and I won't have a problem finding somewhere to store that 
um, while I go and, you know, skip out of the country for a little bit, too. Nice to see you're doing well. Lori says, hope you're doing well. Fuck yeah, thank you. I am, I'm doing well. I'm just like, you know, kind of overwhelmed with how big of a task it's going to be to move all of my stuff out. And then also like the whole thing about letting go of stuff that I've been holding on to for a long time that have like sentimental value to me. And I'm trying not to be sentimental about shit because I'm just really not about that. I've had to rebuild my life completely from scratch so many times. Um, it's like, you know, sometimes it's, that's just what you're doing. And, uh, so like just kind of <laughs> people making offers, having no idea what something means to me. <laughs> it's just like, um, you know, trying to keep, keep my emotions in check and just, just get through it. Cause you know, you can't take anything with you when you die and I'm, I'm not going to die anytime soon, hopefully, but like, you know things are only as good as you can use them for and I'm not using all this stuff right now so it's not doing me any good to hold on to it I'd rather have money in my pocket to go on crazy adventures and get better gear so I can make better videos to put up on my YouTube channel so I can go on crazier adventures with better gear there'll be better videos <coughs> and uh, yeah everybody wins Everybody has fun. We do we do bigger and better, and that's uh, that's the name of the game. <coughs> oh, Tira Weidman, thanks. Here's some new bootstraps. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey. Alright. Satan. Wanna come say hi? Hello. It's a dog. Satan. It's a Satan dog. Oh hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Buy my stuff. I got a lot of cool stuff. It's all like really practical shit. There's a um, there's like a projector. There's a fucking still. Where did your ball go, dude? I'm so confused. Yeah, some of the stuff I'm getting rid of last because I'm still using it, obviously, like the welder and the generator and my solar power system. Got some more lookers. I really wish I knew where Satan's ball was, because she's going to drive me crazy until I find it. There we go. Hey. Satan, look out. Howdy. That's good. I'm live streaming. I got it on my face, though. Yeah, take a look. Let me know if there's anything you're into. Go get it, Satan. Yeah, the sheath is nicer than the machete. Yeah. yeah. Does this one work? It does. It needs obviously some oiling and uh, a little cleaning, but yeah, it works great. I just fired it. Headlamp, five bucks. How much for that bow? For the bow, the cro uh, the compound bow. I guess I'd let it go for forty. Definitely could get more for it, but at this point, I just want to move stuff. Which trunk? That one? Um, it's got like med supplies in it right now, but uh, for that thing, yeah, I'd, I'd give it um, 10 bucks. That's all med supplies. Yep. That's awesome. I'd cut you a deal if you actually yeah, I, use it. I, I will. Because I'm, I'm really well on supplies. Take a look at what's in there. For the, uh, the bag, the green bag, the black bag, and uh, not airing gas and the headband. Um, let me see here. So, hey, Satan, I need you to go in the bus. Load up. Load up now. Thank you. 
um, for the med kit and the mountain axe and which the headlamp that's it those three things um I do all three for 60 60 yeah you're looking at the axes yeah, that's a nice ass. That's yeah, a proper. I know, I know they're badass. Yeah, so. and then this this uh, med kit. All right, I do it for since you're doing um, yeah, that, that med that stuff. I got. Kind of stuff. Yeah, I do this one for for you since you're actually using it. Twenty bucks. Um, forty bucks. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be back though. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be sitting here until all my shit's gone. Straight up. I'm uh yeah, I, I'm happy living out of my pack right now in my car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm selling the bus too, so if you know anybody that's looking for one, yep. Where are you trying to get that at? Oh around ten K. Ten K? Yeah. Yeah, the prices have gone up on I know I could diesel. It's yeah. It's a diesel. 2001. I'm live streaming, yeah. It's on my face, though. I don't film people without their consent. Yeah, well, if you know anybody uh, looking for one, I'm... Yeah, it's... I'm looking to sell it. I got a bunch of shit in the box too that I'm gonna be taking. I'll out. probably be right back for some other stuff. That cool. Yeah, not a lot of people have been cash. looking at those. Yeah. I gotta go grab some more cash. I'm interested in the headlamp and the axe and the, the water bag. So do you uh, uh, do you want me to set them aside? Or? Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I got uh, got a barter offer that I uh, definitely don't want to talk about on live stream. So <laughs> don't worry, it's not tweak. Um, yeah, that's how we do around here, though. Just made another twenty bucks and. Uh, the added bonus of all of those med supplies being kept in the community is great. So I, I definitely could have gotten more for that med supplies bag, but there's no reason to. <laughs> there's there's a ton of sutures, ton of band-aids, all sorts of um, like gauze wraps and stuff like that. I would have just given it to the guy if I wasn't trying to at least get something for it. So that's kind of my angle. Like, I don't need to get the most out of somebody for the things that I'm selling that I can get. I, I just want to be, like, I want some kind of compensation, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> Price to sell, baby. 120, 153 people watching. Hit the like button. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Get your thumbs out of your asses and click that. I don't know where the thumbs up button is on here, but it's somewhere somewhere around here. Hit that. I want to see. I want to see that count go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on my Sigma grind set, baby. Slum style. Slumlord Sigma grind set. Come get some. This is how we do it in the favela. Satan, you're a sweet bean. Hell yeah. Yeah, a lot of people try to romanticize slabs and stuff like it's some like hippie utopia or whatever. It's like, bro, it's literally just a slum. They have them all over the world. It's it's just like, maybe, you know. I know that there's other slums in the U.S. You can build a hippie utopia here. If you're like successful at achieving your vision hey we got another uh got another looker here i'm gonna go and just like hey what's up 
Yeah, come take a look. <laughs> if there's one thing I don't need, is something. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got all my stuff out. Yeah. I'm selling the bus too. The bus? Yep. So, um, I'm happy living out of a backpack. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, and my Subaru. How much are you selling your bus for? About 10k. 10K? It runs great. Yeah, it's got a lot of miles left in it. The only thing is it's got a little body damage around the staircase here. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. You'd rather live out of a backpack. Huh? Backpack, Subaru. I'm, I'm looking to do world travel. I can't drive a school bus to Europe. And plus to drive any of these things a long distance costs a fortune out here. Yeah, that's true. I spent $700 a Uh-huh. Oh shit. I got a bunch of people on live stream right now. No worries. I'm just going to set it over here and if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Hey Satan, go back inside. Yeah, somebody was looking at that, but I don't think they claimed it. Oh yeah, I just pulled that out. Uh, ten, uh, ten bucks for you. Is that a little stereo? Yeah, it's a little pocket cool. amp, nine nine volt battery it takes. Could you plug a guitar in it? Yes, you can. That's what it's for. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this compound bow kicks ass. Yeah, I'm looking for something lighter. Something lighter? Yeah. I think that's got it. I mean, you know, I don't know what kind no, of. Work, but... What kind of gun is that? That is pellet a pellet gun. rifle. That'll kill birds. It's like a Benjamin. It's a real strong one. Yeah, it's a strong one. Needs some oil, but other than that, nothing wrong with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got one. I've shot it out here and hit stuff, and you hear the ricochets that's coming out. Oh yeah, that's that's one of those. <laughs> I've I've hunted with that quail and dove and little ducks and stuff. Did you go to the RDR this year? No, I just came from Joshua Tree. <laughs> How's it up there? It was snowing. <clears throat> Snowed for a few days. You want that? Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like it. Yeah, it does. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, get a <coughs> get a nine volt in there and make sure it works. And if it if it don't work, then you can come back and I'll give you your money back. But I'm sure it does work. Plus, there's a ten percent restocking. <laughs> yeah. no, All right, everybody, have a good day. Twenty five percent restocking. Too. Hey, buddy. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, it's a little practice name. They're great. You can yeah. put it on your belt or something and walk around town with it. Mm -hmm. It's a good busking tool if all you have is an electric guitar, too. Yeah. No, it says Marshall on it. It must be pretty good. It's a damn Marshall. You can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure doing business. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Satan. Okay, now it's time to throw again. Okay. All right. Let's make sure nobody runs your ass over, okay? Oh, yep, it goes far. Otherwise, she'll never get tired. Come on, Bob. All right. The stuff is dwindling down. There's still tons of stuff in the bus, but, uh, we're making good progress. Somebody's got to buy that dang wagon. Oh, thanks. Sorry. No, you're good. Come on, pup. Let's go. Hey, uh, someone gave me a different setup. This is a sail tarp. Oh, yeah? It's like in a triangle. Uh-huh. It's in good shape. Okay. Job. You keep it, you sell it. Cool. <laughs> I could get something for that. Yeah. Hell yeah, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. This has been the year of getting yeah, me, yeah, me I, too. I gotta keep that just in case. No, you don't. <laughs> That's where I've been at with so much of this stuff, and it's all good practical stuff. It's just like I'm, I'm not looking to homestead right now. No, uh, my thing is I live everything I own is in that. And, and that thing? Uh, yeah. That's pretty badass, dude. And there's a lot of room in it, you know, for me. Couch, stove, bed, stove, sink, closet in the back. I put everything away or don't have too much. It seems like it's almost too big. 
Yeah, that's how I feel about the bus. It's just too dang comfortable. Yeah. All right. Well. What's your? Uh, I mean, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Nice to meet you. You are. I'm Cornelius. Cornelius, I like that. Thanks. Name of from the planet of the apes. That's right. <laughs> Making sales, baby. Actually, we literally did just make a sale, kind of. It's a sale clock. We got some more gear to sell. Nice. Hey, Satan, dog out. Put that over there. There we go. <laughs> Come on, pup. All right. Yeah, I, <clears throat> if I was sitting with all of this gear up in, like, <laughs> Yucca Valley or something, uh, or as we colloquially call it, Yuppie Valley, um, like, two people would have looked at my stuff and just, like, scoffed. But these folks out here know what they're fucking looking at. So that's great. Because they live like I do, and they need the same kind of gear that I like. So, yeah. Med supplies, weapons, hunting gear, uh, outdoors stuff, emergency rations. There's a projector, real nice projector in a hard case. Somebody's going to take it and start movie night out here, too. Hi, baby. If I didn't need the money, I'd just give it to people that would use it, but... <sighs> Shoo! Ain't that just the way. But, I'll sell it to the fucking slabbers for real cheap. Real cheap. If you're dressed like you're from the city, I'm gonna give you fucking city at prices. I'm sorry, no offense. Satan, come here. Load up. Yeah, yuppies come over here and start asking about my knives and shinies. I'm gonna give them fucking... Give them fair prices. Just, uh, you know, not slabber prices. <laughs> yeah. Homie prices. Hey, yeah, the captain's uh, posting my Patreon link. I did put the links in the description like two seconds before I went live. Uh, this time, I actually, yeah, I actually added them. So, um, feel free to follow me on Patreon. I upload exclusive videos and vlogs to my Patreon. Uh, semi-daily, you know, I didn't do one, like, yesterday, um, cause it, yeah, I pretty much just drove my bus down from Joshua Tree yesterday. Oh, no, I had to do, it was a whole mission, cause, you know, I had to go and park my Subaru on, on that property, and, you know, it's like, it's safe, I believe that it will be totally secure in that spot, and there's pretty much nothing in it, I moved all my shit into my bus, um, I mean, there's, like, like tools that I use in my car in there. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going back with, like, hardly any of this. Adventures of Robin Lana is being a good uh, wing person. <laughs> wing, uh, we're just going to say wingman. That's a non-gendered term now. <laughs> you can join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. That's correct. $1 a month, you get the same thing as if you donate five or ten dollars a month um it's totally up to you there's no like uh monetary hierarchy i'll get the same content it's just like pledge what you can and you get to see uh pictures and posts and videos that nobody else gets to see so uh yeah check it out and yeah buy my shit and get down with the kick down there's paypal there's venmo i'm on my fucking slumlord sigma grind set right now so uh yeah feed the beast Feed, feed the chaos demon. You know you want to. It, it's compelling, isn't it? <laughs> it's a compelling idea. A lot of people do it. They, they seem to have a good time. Actually, yeah, I, I really... I can't... 
thank you guys enough. Um, all, all joking aside. Like, <laughs> I, like, wasn't even going to ask. Like, I wasn't putting on the spange the other stream either. I, I just, like, I hardly even mentioned it. Because sometimes I can get spangy as fuck. And, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game, right? And there ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, it's like, hey, I'm broke and I'm worried about it. Um, but I, was, I wasn't even, like, anywhere near that. And people were just like, yo, I got you. And um, I had just enough probably to get my ass down here and that's it so i would have gotten here i would have landed flat broke <laughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. yes which is fine i'm used to that i was um planning on doing that <coughs> oh yeah sapphire is also being uh an excellent wing person Wingman, I don't know. We need a somebody think of a cool non gendered uh, alternative to wingman, please. Um, <coughs> uh, Sapphire's mentioning the Patreon and the Discord. Yes, join the Discord, it's fucking lit. Okay, if we're gonna have an alternative to wingman, it's gotta roll off the tongue like wingman because that's like that's a good term. You, it, it's efficient. We need we need efficient stuff. Wingnut already has a meaning, Captain. That's that's somebody that's gonna be either yelling in your ear about Jesus and aliens at the same time, or uh, somebody that's gonna be like nerping in your yard at night. <laughs> Comrade sounds. Uh, nobody said that. I'm just thinking about yeah, like uh, that sounds too communist. Something like. Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't think of one. It doesn't have to be wing something. It can be something that it means the equivalent. You guys, you guys are just... This is garbage. I'm disappointed in all of you. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> oh, well. It's the thought that counts. Bless your heart. <laughs> Come buy my stuff. I know some of you in slabs are watching my channel. And, uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm selling my whole life, Nomad. My whole, my whole world. Everything that the light touches could be yours. Come, come get some. Even my most, like, if somebody offered me enough money for, like, my very favorite things that I, like, use every day, I would fucking do it. If you ask the right price, like, yeah. Even stuff that, like, like this thing behind me, it's got, like, my corn patch on it, and, like, you know, it, it's like an actual patch jacket. I've had it for years and years and years. Right price? It's yours. I ain't fooling. I ain't fucking fooling around here. Buy my life. Judas says, Corn, you've grown so much since your first video, and you were so cool back then. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, who are we if we're not fucking growing and becoming better? This is not even my final form. We got Curtis being a homie with the answer, so I don't have to answer about my bus a billion fucking times. Um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Selling everything. If you're paying attention and people come in here in the middle of the stream asking questions that have already been answered, feel free to, like, yell the answer at them, because I'm not going to. I'm just going to ignore them. <coughs> Model the jacket? What, do you want to buy it? Hundred dollars. Oh, shit. My guitar's on it. This is literally... I'm not trying to sell this. I was just making an, uh, an example. I sewed um, an inverted pentagram on the back. And then there's a big patch. Every 15 minutes. I think that's how often somebody dies. Like, in... I don't know. I feel like more people die than, like, 
once every 15 minutes. Maybe it's like in a car crash or something. I don't know. Some about people dying. And um, there's some Boy Scout patches that my best friend in fucking um, ninth grade gave me when he like left the Boy Scouts and he was going to throw away his Boy Scout vest. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I put these on there. It says like Viking Council, Minnesota. Tight. Fucking tight. Trained. And the corn patch is actually a drugs pocket. You can put your little drugs in there. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Quite nice. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's a good one. This jacket I got in Joshua Tree when I first went out to Joshua Tree. You're not getting the Viking patch without the whole jacket unless you're going to pay like an ungodly price for me to cut it off of this jacket. I got a few other things that like are kind of like this that I would actually let go if people want it because like you know I've 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 augmented some of these just because you live in Iceland doesn't mean you get all the Viking stuff we got Viking stuff in Minnesota too I am uh yeah Nomad says 60 bucks for the jacket uh don't lowball me man Hi. Well, we got another looker. Sin Twin. <laughs> I like that, Slab City Cribs. That's great. <laughs> That's a good one. Yep, we got more folks. Probably going to have to answer the same. Oh, I, th I remember this guy. He picked me up hitchhiking once. I don't think he speaks English. Oh no, he helped me when I was broke down on the side of the fucking road. And I gave him a beer. Hey, what's up, man? Hi. You sell it? Yeah, selling it. I go see it. Sure. Yep, that's the guy. He totally fucking... Um, I don't remember what it was, but he like... My van was broke down and like... He stopped. I think he gave us beers and also fixed my van so that I could drive home. And, like, we pretty much couldn't speak to each other much because my Spanish is about as good as his English is. So, <laughs> it was fun, though. Yeah, nice guy. I think he gave me a ride once, too, actually. Hold on. Uh, 
fiber. What's that? The battery. the battery? Let's see. Let's take a look. Triple A, three triple A. Long time ago? Um, yeah, should be fine for a while. I might have some extra triple A's for you. I got more batteries here. <coughs> Got a whole bunch of triple A's in here. Let me see if I can find him. He's looking at a headlamp and a couple of knives. Where's my batteries? There they are. Uh oh. There you go. Triple A's. Let's see if I can get something for these too. It's getting to be time to put more stuff out. Uh, I would sell that for uh, 20 bucks. What is this? 22? Wait. Gun? 20 bucks. Is it, what kind is it? Pellet. It's a pellet gun. Rifle? What's that? Rifle? 22? 22? No. No, no. What size? It's a pellet. Um, baby, I don't know. Baby, baby gun. Baby gun, baby. Pellet. Mm. And it's a aerator or batteries. Um, it that's it. When you break it, it uh, I forget what the technical term for that is. Um, single action. Yeah, and then it fires. <laughs> Get up people. You can kill birds with this. How much? Uh, two dollars. Mm. You want a dollar? We'll do a dollar. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Okay. Okay. I, I stay here with you. Eh? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bueno. Si. Si. Hey. This Hasta is the Navy, right? Which? Wrenches? Navy. Oh, yeah. How much? Um. How many better? How much better is it? Yeah. Four or five? It's, uh. It's easy. Yeah. Plug it in. Um, it looks like. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Much, two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Much. Made another few bucks very nice and we got a hundred thumbs up that's beautiful love it love to see some of y'all doing something with your lives it's very important you know whoops ah. yeah i don't wanna i guess whatever yeah that's the the kind of elderly mexican man Cool guy. <clears throat> That's why I had to throw in the batteries for free. And uh, yeah, give him some low ball, low ball deals. It's not. <laughs> Fuck you, baby sticker. Yeah, buy the fuck you, baby sticker. That one's awesome. I feel like that one doesn't get enough love. It's got a troll, um, a trolley backstory as well. How much for the stove? Um, 200 bucks. Come get it. Come buy my stove. Come buy my life. <laughs> 200 right now. Let's go. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking, yeah. We'll do it. We'll go there. I'll sell. I'll sell everything. I, I would even fucking like. I don't know. I obviously need to have some of my gear for my pack. Um. But like, for the right price, literally anything that I have is fucking for sale. <laughs> it's true. I gotta. Sometimes you know you just gotta not give a fuck about things and get rid of it all. I, I've done this like two, three times already in my life. Just fucking, um, I do yard sales typically and it's kind of like a name your price sort of thing. And then I explain to people that like, I would just give it away, but I want to make some sort of comeuppance. So, you know, oh, they scoping. No, they were kind of scoping. Oh boy. Where did my dabs go? Oh, it fell on the floor. Okay. Whoop. Uh, they might be scoping me out. If that's the case, then I'm gonna have to go back outside. Oh, I got me some god dang celery juice. Oh no, they're just talking to each other, taking up the whole road like fucking douchebag 50 year old white men do sometimes on their motorcycles taking up the whole god dang road celery juice is like weird it's I think it's really really good but it's also super weird mm. refreshing Wow, what a beautiful day. I love that it's overcast right now because it's it's not super hot and all my shit isn't getting torched outside the bus. Um, yeah, this is the perfect day for day one by my life 2023. <clears throat> perfect kind of day. We might have another customer. Hey! Yeah, I'm selling everything. Why? 
Because I do that every now and then. Um, ballpark 10k for a homie, I could definitely get talked down. I'm not looking for another vehicle. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I'm selling other stuff too, and I'm letting it go for like you know, pretty cheap. I'm just trying to move all my stuff out and uh, make what I can. I got my Subaru up at Joshua Tree so I can go back up there. And I just want to leave here with a pack and a couple toolboxes. So I get it. Yeah. If I had that kind of money, I'd be down for it. What about Social Security? Like... Yeah. This was a kick down in Niagara Falls. Oh, right. I'm, uh, I got a live stream going on right now. No, you're good. Come by any time. Right. Oh boy. Wow, we're almost at an hour. I think the bus is going to sell soon. Yeah, I think so too. Wouldn't that be nice if the bus sold like by the end of the day, but the person was down to like give me uh another couple days to get rid of the rest of my shit out of the bus and just like and then everything went super smoothly transferring like the title and shit and and I made a friend in the process and we all like we all feel good about it and and then I can give away like a bunch of my shit too mostly to the library probably and like to my favorite camps that would be fucking sick that would be the way to go Cause then it'd be like instant gratification, but a boom, there we go. Sold the bus, flip the shit, everybody wins, um, and then I get to fuck off. Yeah, I can get my teeth fixed and like go travel. <laughs> Magic. We're doing a spell here. This is an amalgamation of all of these different components into a very complex chaos spell. I don't expect that the bus will sell today. I'm just expressing what I think would be, like, the coolest scenario. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't hurt to imagine what you would really like to happen. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it's fun. It's fun to entertain things. You know? Yeah. Hope for the best, plan for the best, but also expect the worst. <clears throat> yeah, I got a lot of fucking memorabilia in here. Some of this shit... <clears throat> some of this shit is, like, well worth more than what I'm selling it for, and I'm aware of that, and I don't even care. Oh, here's the fucking... At least they're kind of pulled off the road this time. Before they were like all across the whole road. Now they're just kind of like sitting on the one side. Even though this entire area is a fucking dirt lot and they could pull off the road. Don't be like these people. Be considerate of other people and what they're trying to do. Don't block roadways. Don't block pathways. Um and leave the space that you occupy tidier than it was when you got your hands on it. Just be cool. Nice top. Thanks, Element Only 08. You could buy it right here, right now. Look at this. $20, it's yours. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I have done that with a few things. Um, <clears throat> I packaged up uh, Sam's package. It's special, and I think they're going to like it a lot. But it's the weekend, and I can't get to the post office right now. Uh, this is my newest tattoo, and I love it. So good. So good. Okay, we're at an hour um, of streaming. This is great. <clears throat> What a day, though. Come on, Satan. I'm gonna roll a smoke, and 
Where are my snugs? Hey, I don't have to roll one. I got half a fucking stogie right here. And I still got a little bit of coffee left. Wow. We are doing great today. We're doing good. I would dare say this might be the blessed manic upswing that I've been praying for. Mm. Mm-hmm. Fucking ride that crest, baby. How's not drinking going? Fucking great. Very cool and awesome. If you're if you're an alcoholic and you're like uh, sober curious, and I only say sober to mean like off of booze, I don't mean other shit because I do all the other drugs. But if you're sober curious, um, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. After you get through a shitty part. Is good. Ah. Wait, what are you trying to do a deal here? Corn shirt size, send them you both. Which both thing? What are you talking about? Captain Graham got the jacket. Yeah, you did get the good jacket. And you have the sewing skills to, like, do what I didn't have the time to do, like, repair the lining. Um, yeah. That, and, you know, it's like, it's already wastelanded out, so you won't feel too weird adding extra studs and spikes and shit. It's great. <sighs> yup. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you would say Noah selling the clothes off of their back. I just, uh, yeah, I took a shot today. I took a nice big shot of uh, testosterone. No booze, thanks. Just tea and nitrous and black coffee that makes my fucking tongue thick as fuck. Ugh, I can, like, feel it on my tongue. Mmm. And yeah, lots of dabs. You selling stuff on here or in person? I don't know, both. If you know, um, it's just the deal with selling stuff to folks online. I need to get to a post office, which I do need to do on Monday. And I'm not, um, it, yeah, I got a lot going on over here right now. But if there's something that you really, really want. Um, make an offer and contact me on email, corneliusvangogh at gmail.com. Send me a message and we can talk. Judith says, in AA, it said if you're not enjoying your sobriety, something's wrong. Well, uh, I don't enjoy sobriety, um, all the time. I, it's not. Sometimes I sit and I think, oh my god. Being sober is the worst thing, and I hate it, and I hope that I never have to be sober again, because life is fucking pointless. <laughs> well, then other times, I'm like, wow, hey, there's, uh, we're really getting somewhere today, and doing something cool. Like selling all my fucking crazy-ass gear back to slabbers. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. It's a good time to be in slabs. Yep. Um, actually, okay, so I sent a message to the person that bought my guitar, my bass, um, <clears throat> like, last month now, and I'm hoping that they'll get back to me because, uh, I'm not gonna have, like, if I sell the bus, I, I'm gonna have to store it for, you know, somewhere, and I, I can't remember if they said they were gonna be in slabs around now. Um, to come pick it up. So, yeah, let's hash that out. Oh, hey, I got this, um, I would sell this for, like, ten bucks. Five, five bucks? Well, plus shipping. It'd have to be ten. I was wearing this on the thumbnail of one of my live 
live streams from a couple years ago. Uh, Brando made this one, or did the art there. I could go over it again. <laughs> yeah, I'd go over that again with a Sharpie or something. This one's mine. This is from the Crystal Sugar gig. I only need the one hat. Yeah, classic. I dyed it brown, too. And the the blue held its color like it's some kind of crazy-ass newfangled fabric that doesn't take a dye. But I like that it did that, because it looks nice. It's a good look. How much for this? This is 100% not for sale. 100%. You couldn't buy this for $1 million. This was given to me by Hobo King Iwijin, my homeboy. Hell no. <laughs> I have a couple other black bandanas that I could part with, though. I have, um... I think I have... There is one that I'm gonna burn because it's, um associated with that website that I don't rep anymore. I found, um, yeah. And I don't want anybody else repping it either. So yeah, that one's gonna, that one's gonna go in my fire pit. <laughs> I have another one that's got like skulls on it and shit I could grab. Yeah, I am gonna be, I am gonna be selling all that shit. Yeah, you can buy your own hobo bandana online. These are available at, I think, the Hobo Museum or something like that in Iowa. Or maybe the Hobo Museum. I can't remember. You can buy these at the Hobo Museum. There's more than one. There's more than one Hobo Museum. You can have one just like this. That wasn't gifted to me by Weege. <laughs> Not a chance. Hey, Satan. Yeah, I got all this fucking shit. I am gonna end up selling the generator again, too. I... I could probably get 400 out of it easy. It's, it's a really nice generator. Hi, baby. I know. I got... See, yeah, this... This thing's cool. I would... It's got so many good patches on it. But it's like, I only have so much space, so there's only so many things that I can take. Um, everything in this pile goes back into my backpack, or back in my car. It's a mess. That blanket is Satan's. She's, we're not doing anything with that. Um, and then somebody in chat was like, hey, I gave you that tapestry, and it's been in my house for years, and I want it back. And then, uh, it never got back to me, so, Yeah. Somebody could buy my bundle of dreads. Who wants my bundle of dreads? Make a great fly swatter. You could wear it and pretend that you're Cornelius circa 2015. <laughs> oh yeah, the hat too. The hat's for sale. Somebody wants to buy this. I'm sure of it. Buy my whole life. Look, it's a sword. Somebody wants to buy that, too. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Got all sorts of stuff. Look, there's another sword. I might sell that to Aurora, though. That's... That's a prestigious fucking sword. Not in that it's, like, made really nice or that it's particularly an excellent blade, but because of its position in my life... <clears throat> and the fact that I've maintained it and, like, it's just been with me, um, yeah. I definitely didn't want to come here and, like, just dispense a fuck ton of weapons back into slabs, because a lot of those I took away from, like, bad people. <laughs> but, um, at this point I'm like, <laughs> it's not my responsibility, man. I took these out of slabs. Not all of them. And, you know, a lot of them were bartered for, too. But a couple of them I did confiscate from violent people that did not need to be wielding them. <laughs> Loved the Dreads era. Well, you can own the Dreads era. 
probably still drugs in my hair too, I bet. And all sorts of weird shit. Who knows? Who knows what's in there? Just kidding, they're not they're not filthy like fucking wook dreads or anything like that. They're uh desert anarcho primitivist dreads. At least you're selling the swords in daylight. Is that like a superstition? What does that mean? I don't know what that means, Sally. <laughs> I got other yeah, I got so many knives and I sold uh, a handful of knives and weapons and a spear uh, and um, all my music equipment to the same guy. Let's see what I got here. Did I? Somebody paid me in rolls of nickels and I was okay with that. I got a pocket full of money here. Look at this. This is all the shit that I haven't counted and put it into my wallet yet. We got we got the big cash wads. This is this is some slumlord shit. We got big business up in here. This is how fucking slobs do it. Fucking hustle. I'm gonna listen to some like fucking Russian gangster rap after this. Yeah. Yeah, if you're interested in buying stuff, um, like I said, shoot me an email or message me in the Discord, preferably. If you're old and you don't understand Discord, I'm not going to be mad at you for hitting me up in my email, but please don't do that unless you, like, truly can't figure out how to join a Discord server and ask me questions in there. <laughs> okay? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just sorting my money. I got a whole stack of one dollars. I'm 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 a hundred air currently. That's uh feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Operation bootstraps is a go. My wallet's all fat, see? I got a bunch of dollarinos in there. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, Satan! Wow, you're so cool. We love you, little Satan dog. Yes, we love the Satan dog. Yes, we love the Satan dog. She's so cute. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. <laughs> cheese for the dog. Oh, I do have cheese. I always have. I always have cheese dog cheese. I have to. It's part. It's part of the code. The. It's part of it, it's part of every code. Every code, you must carry dog cheese for the cheese dogs. Isn't that right, Satan? The cheese talks. The cheese talks. This is some uh, Asiago from Aldi. It's really salty and weird, but uh, dogs love that shit. Wait a little bit. You want this, Satan? Do you want this? Yeah. Okay. Whoops, you missed it, dude. Go get it. Go on, I'll move. Nice. Alright, back up so I can give you one and you can actually catch it this time. You want this salty weird cheese from Aldi? You want this? Do you want this? Yes? Okay. Yep. Nice. Some Asiago. It's pretty good. Not a bad cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good about how today is gone. Oh yeah, I was gonna smoke a cigarette. And then like, probably fuck off. Yeah. Probably should. People around here get sketched out being on camera. I don't blame them either. I mean, we're all fucking outlaws out here. I'm just the only one. No, I'm not the only one. I'm one of them that is uh, bold enough to just put my face out there and uh, represent us in the, the queer outlaw community. <laughs> Whoa, we got more PayPal's. Holy shit. Lovable Dustables, thank you so much. Theo Overman. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, um, I think that you are the one that I was, oh, shit. Oh, no. 
And I think I dropped my stream. Did I kill my stream? Or are we still here? Nice! We didn't kill the stream. Okay, cool.